Hi there, Nate Urandi, Orion Training Systems. Apologies up front for it being a while since I posted a video. I've been focused on the written word, watching the Olympics, and just busy with a ton of stuff um, as uh, the coaching business is always getting bigger and brighter. So uh, apologies. Hopefully this video is, is worth the wait. You know, I've been asked a lot of questions lately because of the Olympics around doping in sport. And even more specifically about Team GB, Great Britain, the track cycling program. And I'm going to apologize now if you're a Team GB fan, but I just don't buy it. You know, they were toast at the world champs earlier this year, not even winning a gold medal, only coming away with three silvers. <clears throat> you also had Jess Varnich and uh, Katie uh, Marchant, who were basically uh, calling mutiny. They were calling out the coaching staff for underpreparing the athletes, and they're a pair that should have easily made it to Rio and instead didn't, and uh, they just weren't happy with that. You had coaches calling into question athlete commitments. Uh, you had a couple of uh, British athletes outside of that, like Simon Yates, a uh, road cyclist, being popped for doping and serving a band. There was a lot. You have Shane Sutton, uh, one of the Team GB coaches, um, being called up on sexual harassment charges. So a lot of dysfunction, a lot of uh, lack of focus between the world champs and the Olympics. Not a recipe for utter world domination, right? You know, and so when I look at any country, uh, or whether it's as a wholesale country or within a given sport, Having that sort of dominance, I immediately crawl, call foul. You've got the Eastern Bloc countries from the 70s and 80s. You've got U.S. track and field for forever. You've got uh, Chinese swimming. You've got Japanese distance running. And the list goes on and on and on, all the way up to now with, obviously, the whole thing with Russia. And it just reeks. And the story's always the same, always. And it starts with complete and other, utter domination over the rest of the world and you know the world is full of plenty of motivated athletes plenty of very intelligent coaches and they all have access to arguably the same resources it's from a from that standpoint it's a fairly level playing field and you're looking at fractions of percents as the difference between athlete A's and athlete B's performance unless of course there's something more nefarious going on, such as doping. So I don't buy that Team GB's track success here at the Olympics came by cleanly. You know, Laura Trott, one of the uh, up-and-coming British cycling athletes, she's 22. You know, she said she was miffed that their results were being called into question. And if I were clean, I'd actually be flattered. You know, I wouldn't be miffed. I would say, of course, my results are being called into question. You know what? Test me every day. I'm opening myself up to that. Test me every single day of the year. And that way, when I do show my results, you can't question them and you'll leave me alone. That's the way I would do it. And I would love to see some athletes from whatever sport, whatever country do that. Instead, what they do is they pull a Lizzie Armistead and I can't believe she did this, they hide behind the veil of, I've never tested positive. How on earth can you use that as your argument in the wake of Lance Armstrong? I don't get it. You know, so Team GB, don't tell me you, you just simply got it right. Don't tell me that you nailed your periodization in training again. Don't give me some fluff. Show me. Like, send me a Excel spreadsheet. Send me a training plan. Send me something concrete that points to why you guys should be utterly dominating the rest of the world on the track. And then I'll happily believe you and rescind my skepticism. But until then... There's the saying, you've heard me say it, with great power comes great responsibility. And that doesn't give you a free pass to blow off the skepticism. It doesn't give you a free pass to ignore the critics. You got to hit them head on. If you're clean, 
you got to come raging out of the corner with open books, open minds, open arms to that skepticism and embrace it because that's the only way you'll get past it. With that, happy training.